let's talk about working with the php.ini file as well as php info. This is going to be in getting started and you can just click on php info here. And this is going to describe your machine, whether it's on the local machine that you have there or whether it's actually out on the internet for your machine that you're actually going to have your website hosted on. So this is a great way to actually look at the configuration file to look at the different information and I'll explain the details of what you're going to be looking at. You can also set and change these values like your core information. PHP is developed in C++ and it has these little plugs that you can actually plug into the actual binary file and make changes to things like you can see here we have browser cap information for dealing with different browser versions and being able to detect them and different values, diff different server type values that you might expect to have to set and it's all changeable within a file called PHP any. This is just giving that information and it's very, very long when you do that. It takes a little bit of time, it gives your environment and things like that, header information, and you can just scroll through it and look at the different values that you have here. No big deal. It even has MySQL information. Sometimes you have to change your PHP any file, just like you have to change the configuration of Apache. But if you worked with the WAMP server and install that, it might be a little hard to see this. At the very, very bottom here, you can see this little speed dial, like a speed odometer that you might have in your car. You can click on it once, and then you can actually come up here and select the config file, PHP any, and that'll open that up. Now, this is going to be placed somewhere, might be in your Apache folder within the structure that you installed things. It depends on how you installed it. You might want to take a look at the install videos if you have any questions and also take a look at php.net to find out different ways that you can work with this as well. And also you can just do a search on your system hard drive and find out all the places that PHP any might be installed. It could be in your PHP folder, your Apache folder, maybe your Windows system folder, system 32, something like that. But this is just a text file representation. And you, you will notice that these semicolons mean that these are just comments for you. Anything that has a semicolon in front is just a comment that is human readable and it's ignored by the actual parsing of this file by PHP, the binary file. So you notice that if you want to turn this engine on or off, you would have to set it to on or off and it would depend on what value you need to set. And if we do need to change things, we can do this by changing within this PHP any file or using PHP functions and it makes it very easy to set things up for a particular page if you need something else that's different. We'll see something in the email and PHP for example and other examples where we need to change the any file. But this is really just the same thing here except it's in a nice little form that we can see and it's presented really nicely. So you might think this is a big deal to actually present this here but it really isn't. If we look in Dreamweaver and we go to the getting started and we select PHP info dot PHP you'll find that it is just one function call. Now, we'll see this later, how we can develop our own functions, for example, but this is obviously developed somewhere internal, and this translates into all that code here. If we viewed this, view the source, you can see that th this is just source code that's output from PHP. It's just HTML source, no big deal. All right, so, if you want, you can also change this, and we'll look at functions later. Basically, it's just an open paren, close paren, and a semicolon at the end of any statement, and it just tells us to output that information. You could put a value here. These are just constant values. They're just different ways. We'll explore this later, but if you want to see just specific information, what we do is we comment that out. So this is now only human readable. It's no longer readable by PHP or the parser, the web server. And then you can just uncomment those two forward slashes and now this becomes set. Notice it's no longer orange. And then we're just going to grab the info general. And as you can see, I listed everything here. You can uncomment one or more. And then you can see what these values are. So value one is actually the value of this variable here. You could put one instead of this and it would do the same thing. So not to get ahead of ourselves, but you can pick each one and, and then you can see the actual values of what you're going to be seeing there. I encourage you to take a peek at that. We'll just save this file and we'll refresh. And there you see much less information here. No big deal. So 
you know how you can get just at what you need. So you don't have to be overwhelmed with all that information there. But we'll explore PHP any and PHP info throughout the training. It really is just values that you might need to set or might need to look up to see what you can do with that particular server. And oftentimes when you do something on a remote server, for example, when you go out to your, your website, you want to check out what you have installed and what you have available. So you just put one page in there that says PHP info. But do be careful. Sometimes it has information in there that you don't want strangers or people with ill intent to actually be looking at. So you might want to actually delete that PHP info file and not put that on your website. That's something you might want to do or just use it when you need to or password protect it or something. But that for the most part is PHP info and PHP any. We'll see more later.